so you have 5 by 7 moles and 2 by 7 moles so now what you can do is that one mole of NaOH will be equal to 40 gram of NaOH and what would be the contribution of oxygen it would be 16 gram oxygen so 5 by 7 moles NaOH would be nothing but 5 by 7 into 16 gram of oxygen contribution of oxygen 1 mole 40 gram 16 gram so 5 by 7 moles 5 by 7 into 40 gram so 5 by 7 into 16 gram of oxygen and in this case 2 by 7 moles would be 2 by 7 into what was the contribution over there 48 so 48 gram of oxygen so the weight of oxygen in the mixture would be 80 by 7 plus 96 by 7 which is 176 by 7 these many gram of oxygen So this is how they give you questions. So you must know the very basic formula, not formula, the basic concept. 1 mole is equal to the molecular or atomic weight of that compound which is equal to any number of particles of that compound or anything compound or element this is the most basic thing of the mole concept now little deviating from weights and stuff weight of oxygen we would rather go into topic of volume Now, what is volume? It is the space which uh, an object takes in space. It is the amount of space which an object takes when it is kept in space. So, you have something called a molar volume, which is nothing but the volume of one mole you write uh, i mean this is a short form of mole you can also use it you just write mol instead of mole so i'll write mol over here so it's volume of one mole of that substance So, nothing very interesting in that, it's just the volume of one mole of that substance. Now, the interesting part is that, oh, okay, first of all, this molar volume, it exists in only, I mean, it exists for all states, but we should take it only for the gaseous state. 
I mean, you can always have the volume of one mole of any solid or liquid, but we are more concerned with the molar volume of the gaseous state. The molar volume of solid and liquid are not of much concern to us. So, we can we should take it only for gaseous state. Now, the thing is that this molar volume changes because of this temperature and pressure and stuff. But there's there is something called the STP. Might have heard it. It's known as standard temperature and pressure. It's just a temperature and a pressure which is considered to be standard. And while talking of STP or while defining things, we always use this standard temperature and pressure so that the things, the quantity may not vary with this temperature and pressure sort of things. So it's just used for this. Where this temperature is 0 degree Celsius and pressure is 1 bar. So, why are we introducing the standard temperature and pressure? It's because at this temperature and pressure, the molar volume of any gas will be constant. So, the molar volume or the volume of one mole of a gas at STP would be equal to this quantity 22.4 liters or 22400 milliliter and this is valid only for standard temperature and pressure not for any other temperature and pressure but for this standard temperature and pressure it it is constant for any gas it does not depend on the nature of the gas. How this comes is a bit deviating from a bit from the path. It comes by this gas law, which is called PV is equal to NRT. We'll take up this gas law later, just for the time being. P is the pressure, V is the volume of the gas, N is the number of moles of the gas, R is a constant called the universal gas constant and T is the temperature at which the gas exists. So what this thing does is nothing but it's V by N is equal to RT by P. So this is the volume divided by the number of moles. So this is nothing but our molar volume. And this RT by P, if you keep this T constant and this P constant like in STP and this R is already a constant, it never changes. So this whole thing would be a constant if you keep this T constant and P constant. So this molar volume will be a constant and it will not depend for uh, it, it will not depend on the nature of the gas because this law is valid for all gases it does not depend on the nature of any gas so from this and by calculating this r and putting this t as 273 kelvin and pressure as 1 bar we get this value of molar volume of a gas. So this is another very important uh, property that this molar volume of a gas at of any gas at STP would be 22.4 liter irrespective of the nature of the gas.
So from here we can deduce few more results, just related results, which is the number of moles of a gas is equal to the total volume of the gas at STP at STP divided by 22.4 and this total volume is in liters since one mole of a gas will have a volume of 22.4 liters at STP you can calculate the number of moles of a gas if you know that volume of that gas at STP. So remember that this is only at STP because a lot of mistakes are made. You cannot use this 22.4 liter for any other temperature and pressure except for STP. If there is an, any other temperature and pressure you will have to use this V by N is equal to RT by T or PV is equal to NRT formula and then calculate the corresponding volume or the corresponding number of moles.